Hey, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn on how to mirror this phone's image on this one or, you know, we can control any phone from one of these. So for, for that, all you have to do is go to open this, your, you know, your computer, your cell phone and download an application called, let me download it. You have to download two different applications. So we're going to use this one cell phone. We're going to download right team viewer. And in this whole cell phone, we're going to download a team viewer remote control. But on this one, we're going to download something else. On this one, the other cell phone, you have to download team viewer customer uh, quick support. So this is a team viewer quick support. You have to download this one on this one. You're going to click it, you're going to download it. So on this one, team viewer remote control because we will be controlling from this phone, this phone, right? Sorry, we will be controlling the, uh, uh, this uh, th this phone on this phone. So we're gonna open this one and open quick support on this one as it gets downloaded. We're gonna click on this one we have which, on which we have downloaded the quick support. We're gonna click on agree and continue. We will switch over, and we will it gives us an option to access few things. We're gonna settings. We're gonna give it uh, allow quick support. We go back. We have to wait for a few seconds, and on the other phone, you, this one you have. What you have to do is now close it, go back, and again, open the quick support, and wait for a few seconds. On the other cell phone, what you have to do is click on open the TeamView remote control, and agree and continue. Get it started, and it will ask it will ask you for a ID, which is a control remote ID. But on this one, you can see. There is an ID which appears on your computer. Just it says ready to connect. You have to wait for a few seconds. So we have got three seven eight, three seven eight, two eight six, zero six two. So we're gonna click on remote control. So let's wait for it. And external connection outgoing. It's incoming in here. So we have to wait for a few seconds. Awaiting authentication and there's the allow support. Allow enable it. And in here we have to go to accessibility so it's on it's on everything is on so we have to go back and allow it we have to wait for a few seconds unless it get completed we're gonna click on a start now and wait for a few seconds again so boom we are have been connected so what we have to do you can see both the screens have been connected you can change the screen, you can touch any one screen, you can change from here. You can see, I can switch over to the screen, other screens, I can switch back. And from here, you know, I can click on any of these screens. Go to Twitter, you know, you can see the sign in here. You can see, I can make changes in here. Should I go back in here? You know, it, it is very easily mirrorable. We go to YouTube. You know, we can click YouTube in here, you're gonna, it can appear on in here. So it's like, you know, doing something amazing. You can scroll down slowly. There are old videos in here, you can see. It's very easily mirrorable and if you find this video really helpful on how to mirror cell phones and how you can do it on an easy steps. And if you think this video is for you, make sure to leave a comment below. We'll catch you in the video. Keep visiting Tiges Schooling.